Hey YouTube, this is uh, Lee, also known as Cola Flipper. I'm a part-time reseller. Just going to uh, video me basically doing my photographic process for, for photographing shoes. I've got a very um, quick and easy setup here. So this is a, a couple of foam boards which have got a concrete sticky back plastic vinyl applied to them. So it gives it a, a high-end look. Single light setup, so compact, compact fluorescent bulbs and... An umbrella the umbrella will give it a nice soft light and on the other side to fill in the shadows I've got a big reflector and that reflector you can just use silver foil on a piece of card um, the beauty of this up is that it it can fold up flat and it can go underneath the sofa out of the way so um, I'm gonna try and do this at speed to see how quick I can bang through um, my shoe backlog basically so uh, yeah it might be boring but let's see how we get on Other things you need, notebook, pen, and uh, I think that's about it, I'll just crack on. So when I'm photographing I always go to the square mode and basically I'll frame everything up. Well, you'll see as I do it, so get everything side on first. So both shoes side angle, swap them round, other way I basically want to show every angle I possibly can of the shoes to show them in their best light. So both the outsides, and the insides next. To make everything quick, I've, everything's been cleaned beforehand, so this is I just want to bang through these as quick as I possibly can. So fronts, backs, sides. Um, I always do a shooting down at the toe to show if there are any scuffs. So. These ones, because these have got quite nice inside, so I'm going to photograph that as well. And that's also handy because it says the size. These are Massimo Dutti um, wellies. I picked these up in a charity shop. I think I paid 12 for these, but they are brand new. Um, so I'm hoping to get to the £40 plus. Always make sure you get pictures of the soles. Demonstrate they're new and nice close-ups of the heels to show that there's absolutely zero wear. So. Uh, I've done the fronts, backs, insides. Actually, sometimes for the boots, I'll also get a photograph where they're laid out like this. Above. So again, it's a nice way of showing both the insides, inside side and the outside edge of the shoes, or boots in this case. And that looks like that in the photo, so it's quite neat. And then you want to take any detail. So on these, you've got the Massimo Dutti logo there and a nice little logo there. So I'm going to get some close-up for those. You get to our photos, so you may as well use them. Nice little detail, that looks quite good. Okay. So, 
see my beauty. I think that's said. Size 39. I'll look up the UK equivalent um, later on. And I'm going to put those in garage storage. That's those done. Right, next. Got some. M&S boots. Okay. Now is that lighting? Yeah, you can see what's going on there. Okay. So. Sole. So these are a size 8. There's a sticker on the bottom that says Insolia, so I'll write that down as well. I'll have a look at up later. Insolia. Um, minimal wear on these again, so they should go quite well. Clean these up using saddle soap. Furs in good condition. Zip. Write down any notes that will make it. Easy to sell, so zip for easy access. It's a faux fur trim. Um, Marks and Spencer's code in there, so that might help me get the exact name, but may not. So MS 081437 my square format. Okay, outside stone. Let's get the inside edge. We would also notice is sometimes if it's if I you can mess around with your exposure, so I'll click on where I want to focus and then zip move up or down whether I want to increase or decrease the exposure. And what I try and do is just make sure it looks as accurate as the colours are as accurate as possible to what they are in real life. Talking through it, but when I'm on, when I'm pushing, I can bang through ten, maybe fifteen in an hour. Backs get close up with the heel to show heel wear. And a shot of the toes to make sure they. You can see there's no scuffing on the toes. Want some directly above to show the fur trim. In fact, which one of those devices? I'll get into my hair, I'll get the detail under the actual trim. People will have seen that. Brass looking buckles, they're not actual brass. Pictures of the soles to show they're clean, they're in well, good nick. Not always easy to. Boots, they're not so easy anyway to, to hold neatly together to get the photo of the sole to show minimal wear. So the soles um, and show minimal wear. And you've got the, the size. And if I've ever taken more than the 12 shots, I'll use something like Picolage, uh, the app to 
combine some of the, the detail pictures. Um, as you can get a nice clean label, it would be you know, it's got a rip label. Side, I noticed it said MS collection for I'll write that just on my notes. So MS MS collection and that's size eight and size errors. There's no details as to whether this is real leather. I don't think it is. I think it's just faux leather by the feel of it. So yeah. And these are going to go into box B. So when I then upload my, when, when I um, do the actual listing, I've got my notes here which I got, can go straight to, and I know exactly which box I put it into. So I'll add that into my my um, SKU so that when they sell, I know where to go to actually get them. So these are going to go into box B. Over there. Nikes here, these are Nike 6.0. Um, I need to do a bit of research onto the exact ones, but the great thing about Nikes is you've got that little code in here, there'll be a six or seven digit code, and I can look that up online and that'll tell me exactly which model it is. Um, whack in some shoe trees just to puff up the toe a little bit, make them look their best. I'm just going to adjust right. Whenever you're selling anything and taking pictures, you want it to look its absolute best. So it is worth taking an extra few moments to prepare the shoes. So in these, I've, I've got the shoe trees in to stuff the toes a little bit, make them look their best things so they look good and look right. All these have been cleaned recently. photos for the individuals with a few buyers. Try and get things looking symmetrical if you can. I'm going to go straight from front and then because these have got quite cool tops, I'll go for a little bit of an angle as well. Whenever I'm doing the toes I face them towards my light source. My light is coming in here so that is where I want to get my toe. So if I move nice and close together that where I want to focus. I'm going to do one with the entire shoe from above as well. Uh, as these are boots, often it's good as just a lead photo again, like boots, high tops, whatever. Facing it towards the light so people can see. It's easier. Right, so 
face it towards the light so people can see the minimal wear. Nice close up to the heels again, minimal wear. That is that, that's done. And you can say Nikes. So these are my shoe shoes. I've got a couple of different sizes for men's, ladies' sizes, etc. And all they do they just fit in and just puff up the tie a little bit, keep the shape. Um, for some reason, for a minute. I'm going to undo this again. The, the, the nice thing about having these um foam boards that I use for doing the photos is I don't have to put shoes on my own table, I want someone else's shoes on my dinner table. So, any Nike is nadded ass because it's got that identification label. I will always make sure that I get a, a close up of that. Describe these as um, Nike high tops. Um, black, silver, aquamarine. Uh, and they are. Got seven, uh, I'll be able to identify them later, but I know that I'm going to write Nike 6.0 at the moment. Six. When I do my listing, I'll just look this up. So these are Nike 3, 1. Okay, next pair. Um, these are pretty cool. These are some Nike, I think it's a Nike Dunks. Again, I'll, I'll check the, um, the code at another point. But this is um, limited edition. Uh, Liberty print, so um, that's kind of cool. Quite like those. Very minimal wear. Uh, as you can see that on the bottom, I mean, you've got all the little knobbly, studly um, stud bits from, them, from the moulding. So yeah, pretty good these. Let's, let's get these stuff out so they're looking their best. so far. Three pairs I think in 15 minutes. the square format. Okay. I'm always trying to make sure I'm not overlapping the two shoes and the image as well. Adjusting it so that the lighting reflects the genuine real colour of the shoes. Outside. Inside. Try to try and keep it looking symmetrical. There it is. Towards the cat, the 
light source again to get nice close-ups of the toes to show there's no scuffing, rips, tears, etc. So that's the sort of view I'm getting. Might as well do one from the top, fill in the frame. As their boots, high top, whatever. Doing a, a close up to show it really is minimal wear on those. Um, I'm gonna try, I want to try and get a picture of the land if I can. I mean, these these are so barely worn that you can't really see it. There's a little Nike bit that hasn't worn off, which always wears off. So these are really barely worn. So I'll well take a photo of that. Actually, if I take a photo up and then show the camera. Okay, that, that little decal always wears off within a couple of wears. So the stick is in there. I mean, these are pretty fresh. Um, Get a picture of label. So um, that code there, the 403 code, that's what I'm going to look up online to get the exact model number. But I'm pretty sure these are dunks. Um, I don't think they'll get as much as I'd hope. Being Liberty, you'd expect them to be, you know, quite highly pressed. I'm going to, I'm going to put them high anyway. Don't mind waiting to, to get the right money for these. The code after the dash is for the color code. So that's my Nike code, which I'll also put in the, um, as well as using the photo in, in my listing, I'll also add that, that detail into my listing. So sizing, we've got a US, US 5.5, UK 3, EU 36, CM 22.5. These are made in 2011, so again, relatively vintage. And these are going to go into your thrumming box B still. Box B. Done. Okay, so that's four pairs done. We're at about 22 minutes, I think. Now, oh, these are quite heavy. Some Alpine Star. Into my boots. So 
tend to find that specialist footwear, specialist footwear sales. I mean, I, I predominantly have, I've got a lot of trainers. Heels don't go as well as I thought they would. Um, ladies' boots do go, go quite well, but more around sort of your autumn, winter time. So specialist shoes, so motorbike boots, football boots, um, they do go well. Um, I'm not gonna, at the moment there's no football going on, so it's not, not really the best time of year to be, well, not the best time to be selling that sort of thing. But when um, when the football season was in, it was, um, when we weren't under lockdown, it was a great thing to sell. So specialist boots tend to go for it. Well, uh, pick these up in a charity shop. I can't remember what I paid, probably about £10, I think. Square. Let's see both the shoes. So. Outside. Inside. Inside. Backs. And these have got some sort of air vent here. Give you a foot ventilation when you're on your motorbike, so I'm going to take a nice close up of that. towards the sort of like to do the toes. Um, what else have we got? Let's do the whole thing from the top. Close up at the bottom, so you can see. Having a close up like that always shows up the quality and the, the minimal use. Um, it's got some fancy detailing on, so again, I don't want to retake the photos later, so I'll get decent photos of that the air vents and whatever on it. And it's got removable. So these need to be re-glued. These are replaceable. Replaceable scuff guards, I guess. Um, I'll do it right open as far as I can. I get a detailed picture of the inside as well. These def I'll need to re glue those if they're coming off their velcro, that's not ideal. But I'll re glue those, that'll be fine. Um, get mucky hands doing this. Um, and because I've got the box, I've got the details of the actual. I can't be bothered to put the box in the actual photos, but I'll take photos of it now so I know what's going on. It's a nice sized box that will go medium, uh, sorry, small parcel. Um, under 16 centimetres. Check it actually. I've got my ruler handy. Um, 16 centimetres by 35 by 45 is the maximum you can do for small parcel if they're under two kilos, which means uh, about three pound 
um, standard second class or three or well, four pound if you're doing it recorded roughly. So it's quite nice. It's got all my sizing detail on here as well. Any other info on the box? Aha, some size details. Side. That says that these are a Euro 43 US 9. So a Euro 43 is also UK 9. Okay. photo of that in there so people can see. Um, and these were leather and textile outer, leather inner. See my handwriting because it's pretty horrific when I'm hurrying. Uh, and I've even got all the facts. Oh, look at that. All the facts about the GP Tech. So I guess they're called GP Techs. GP Tech. Well, might as well get a photograph of that whilst I've got it. That will help me sell it, hopefully. Two minutes in. Let's do a couple more and call it a day. Let's just see what we can get done in 40 odd minutes. So I think these are Nike Blazers. Sure. These blazers or dunks? Not sure, doesn't matter because I will look it up later. No clue where I got these charity shop or um, car boot, not a clue. Three two eight nine six eight dash nine nine one. Let's look this up in real time. So Nike three two eight nine six eight. Uh, uh, Nike Dunks. Uh, let's put the code in for the car as well. 
991. Oh, these are Nike ID because the. Oh, there we go. I saw that. So someone's got these custom made in this colorway. So if I put in that code, you can see I've got all these different Nike dunks in random colors. And these are certainly our Nike dunks. So. Nike Dunk. Nike Dunk. Nike ID. Custom colorway. That's really faded. So. And then they're both really faded. I can barely see what this is. So, UK6. These will go in box E. Go to square format. Make sure there's no overlap. And get the colours looking right. Okay, outside. Outside. Inside. Inside. So, um, so from the fronts, from above, as you get the face in the light, let's do that properly. From above, get in nice and close. We'll get the rears. Close up to show the Nike ID. Sole shot, fluff. There's a bit of wear on these, but it's not horrific. So I won't take the extra photo here. So I'm just going to show that photo, but I don't really want to get in so close that people can see there is that wear. It's up to them. The, the picture's there for them to make their own decision. If it's, if it's superb and shows so little wear, then yeah, I want to show that in the photo. But if there is somewhere, for them to see it on the main shot, I'm not going to show an extra one, so that's fine. It's so faded, I can't take a picture of the, um, the inside bit there. So, um, let's have a quick flick through the photo so you can see what's what. So, we've been doing this for about 35 minutes. This is what we've got. You make the best of your photos because it helps you sell your items. Just make sure you get all the details in. That's not so bad. Fair, fair decent amount of shoes I've done in a short period. Right, okay, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I'll do another one of these if people want to see more about um, how I photograph shoes or clothing. I will will be uploading more. But I just thought I'd give you an insight into how I. I banged through them, so I think that's a decent amount of photos taken in a 
what 35 minute window um and i'd probably be able to do it a bit faster if i wasn't talking to the camera as well so um took me less than 10 minutes to set up my backgrounds it would take me five minutes to put it away not um not bad 40 minutes work that okay we're done all right thanks everyone bye bye um please give it a thumbs up if you found this useful at all bye